Hi, it's Alexis Hasselberger, time management and productivity coach. Have you ever heard the Chinese proverb, the faintest ink is more powerful than the strongest memory? When I heard this for the first time, and honestly, it was just a few weeks ago, I just thought, oh, oh my gosh, this, this just hits deeply because there's so much what I, um, what I work with people on and, and what I talk about around how do we get all of this out of our heads? How do we get it onto paper or digital paper so that we can actually start um, you know, manipulating and prioritizing the things we have to do instead of just keeping them up here all in our head and trying to rely on memory? You know, I believe so strongly in not relying on memory that the very first blog post I ever wrote was called Remember is a Four Letter Word. You know, relying on memory, it just doesn't work very well and it's also really, really stressful. So what's the antidote to that? It is to have a system where you capture those thoughts and ideas, where you document things, to have a place where you write things down, get them out of your head. I advocate for a single trusted system to do that. And you can learn more about that, you know, either on my blog or in my videos, my courses and things like that. But, you know, I wanna just talk about this concept of getting it out because when I work with clients, I often hear a couple of different things when I talk about like, let's get all this down, let's get the details out of your head, et cetera. And the first thing that I often hear is, I just don't have time. I don't have time to stop what I'm doing and write down this thing that I'm probably gonna forget later, right? And so I want to remind you that when you are taking 10 seconds to write down you know, what you just did on something, when you're taking five seconds to write down a thought you just had, um, when you're taking a moment to document or get these things out of your head and out of your memory, what you're doing is allowing yourself to have that mental space to be present and to not worry that you're going to forget about it, right? And so what we're also doing is saving ourselves time in the future, because what is going to happen if you don't write it down? Well, you might lose it just entirely. Things will slip through the cracks. Or uh, what happens to a lot of people is that it just cycles through your head, right? You keep having that thought. You have that thought on the way home when you're driving and you can't do anything about it. You have that thought when you wake up at 4 a.m. and it's just circling and you can't do anything about it. And it just keeps taking, taking your time. Or maybe you forget to write something down or you don't write something down. And now you come back to a project, you know, a week later, you don't even remember where you were. And it takes you, you know, I don't know, half an hour to kind of reorient yourself and to get back into the flow of it. So even just taking 30 seconds in the moment saves a lot of time in the future. Now, another thing that I often hear is, well, I don't feel comfortable writing something down like in the middle of a meeting, right? You know, if I am, you know, if I might need a little bit more time to process or I need to write something down, I feel really uncomfortable saying, hey, excuse me, I need to write this down or pausing what's going on go through. And I think that, you know, I want you to remember this story when we think about this. So when you go to a restaurant and the waiter writes down your order, what are you thinking? You're not thinking, wow, this guy has terrible memory. He can't remember anything. What's wrong with him? You are thinking, great, my order will be correct. I am happy for the diligence that's happening here, right? Now, on the other hand, when your waiter doesn't write down anything, what are you thinking? You know, maybe, maybe they'll remember it, maybe. Um, but you also might be thinking, e, I kind of wish they were writing it down so I could be sure that it was real, right? That it was getting, that I was getting the right thing. And so people really do not, uh, do not think down on you because you need to take a minute to write something down. You know, I do this in meetings all the time. You know, all of my clients will hear me say, hey, hold on one second, I'm taking a note, right? Or, you know, in a meeting with other people, you might say something like, hey, at the end of this meeting, could we all spend the last five minutes just getting our action items down? I bet we could all use that time, right? If you're talking to someone, you might say, ooh, I wanna make sure I get down what you just said. So hold on a second, let me write it down. None of that sounds bad. None of that makes you look bad. And so I want you to remember this proverb that's really stuck with me in case it's case it sticks with you. And that is once again, that the faintest ink is stronger than the most powerful memory. Hey, this is the video editor. I just wanna quickly say to drop a like and subscribe because not a lot of people that watch our videos are actually subscribed. So it would just be a big help if you subscribe. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and also comment something. I don't care what you comment. Just comment.